Can you give me three things the Saints need to do to upset the Packers on Sunday? Yeah, sure, MJ. It's week one. Of course, offensive lineman wakes up in a three-point stance. So, look, <laughs> if you're the Saints and you want a shot at beating the Green Bay Packers, look, here's where it starts. It starts when last season ended for Green Bay, right? Get after Aaron Rodgers. Get him on his back. We saw the Bucks sack him five times in the NFC Championship game. This Saints defense is very underrated. Now, that guy right there, Cam Jordan, that's actually Trey Hendrickson, who's no longer there. But you see them getting sacks on the quarterback right here. There's Cam Jordan right there. That's something that they're absolutely going to have to account for. The Packers still don't have Bakhtiari. And I think when you look at Billy Turner at right tackle, he's really more of a guard. So he's kind of playing a little out of position. That's absolutely how the Saints are going to find a way to, to win this football game. Get pressure on Aaron Rodgers. And look, don't sleep on Demario Davis, one of the best linebackers in the NFL. He is a straight-up thumper. So careful if you're coming across the middle. The second thing the Saints have to do, here's the second prong of this three-point stance. The Saints O-line are some bad dudes, all right? They, they call it the Big Easy down there, but look, these guys do not take anything for granted. They make it look easy, even though it ain't. I think when you look at how good the tackles have been on the outside, Teron Armstead and Ryan Ranchick, they've been two of the best pass-blocking tackles in the entire NFL, and I love what they do on the edges. But inside, the guards are very physical, and I think Alvin Kamara... He does a great job of setting up the outside zone and then cutting it back against the green. So this offensive line has to take over the game. All right, the third and final prong of this three-point stance, we've got to talk about the quarterback. Right, MJ? I mean, at some point in time, Jameis Winston is going to have to make a throw like that. All right, he's going to have to make a deep throw, and he's going to have to take care of the football. But this is what they're going to need. You've got to, if you want to beat Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, there's got to be at least two signature throws that Jameis Winston makes. He's going to have a guy open. You know Sean Payton's going to scheme a couple of big home run plays. You can't miss. And Jameis, we know it. Look, if you want to eat that W at the end of this game, you got to take care of the rock, buddy.